Hey boys and girls, it's a cheap bastard coming at you live from Montreal QC. It's October and um, <clears throat> the seasons are changing so uh, it's time for one last trip out on the old bicycle on the trail in search of freedom, fun, who knows what. Uh, originally I was going to go from uh, Quebec City back to Montreal but plans have changed, so I've decided, all right, we're going to go north from Montreal, from my front door, to Mont Laurier on the, uh, the trail that uh, we call Le Petit Train du Nord. And um, from here to Mont Laurier, it is 250 kilometers, the last 50 kilometers of which I have never seen. So we'll get some... Uh, new experience and uh, we'll get to see the whole works in a totally different season than I've ever seen it before. So uh, we are in the midst of a pandemic and uh, our government here in Quebec has told us that we are in, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, red zone, red zone, they have, I forget what the term is. We went from uh, yellow to orange to red, and all basically all that means is the uh, number of new cases is just spiking like a motherfucker. So they encourage us all to stay at home. And in a perfect world, that's just what I would do, but this is not a perfect world, and uh, I gotta get the fuck out. So I'm gonna go ride this bike trail. It is a bike trail. Uh, originally, it was a railroad line converted to a bike trail. I've spent a lot of time on this trail, but I've never traveled the full distance. So now's the time. We're going to do it. Yes. Now is the time to do it. No looking back. So uh, I encourage all y'all to come along with me because it is going to be hella, hella, hella good fun. We are going to experience cold. We are going to experience deprivation. Yes. Like my kids tell me, I'm never happy until I'm completely miserable. <laughs> It is 9.30 a.m. October 8th, Thursday morning. We are departing for a 500 kilometer bike camping fishing expedition north from Montreal to Mont Laurier on the uh, old railroad trail, which is now a bike trail, Le Petit Train du Nord. Uh, it's 250 kilometers to Mont Laurier, and then obviously another 250 back. Okay, so probably the worst part of this journey, touch wood, is over. Just getting to the island, edge of the island of Montreal. We got to cross that bridge there, over to Laval, and uh, get the hell out of here. Lots of wind today. Gonna be a challenging ride. St. Rose, we're above the river here, heading for Rose Mare over there. Now, those you can eat. Beautiful. So we've made it to St. Jerome. <laughs> There's the uh, Petit 
Grand Dunor, the trail begins here. And we're just having a spot of lunch. It's seven degrees Celsius, about 45 Fahrenheit. I was sweating like a pig before I stopped. Now I'm cold. Okay, this is the uh, Doncaster River. Uh, it's 80 kilometers from home, and uh, it's not as far as I'd hoped to get today, but I'm just too beat. So this is where we'll call it a day. It's a pretty place. It's a uh, ski center, cross-country ski center. On the plus side, it has a little outhouse, which I may need in the morning. Um, yeah, all secure here. Little update, end of the day. I'm gonna sit and watch the sunset for a bit. Got a couple hours. So uh, I think I'll set up my tent just, uh, just back in here. Uh, really, really tough headwinds all day today. Uh, I don't think I ever got out of fifth gear, maybe once, twice, on a downhill pitch. But this looks like a groovy place maybe to do some fishing and uh, have a little dinner by the water's edge. I'm starving. Great big shout out to my nephew Dylan McCurgan Smith who uh, gifted me these wonderful gloves. And I have to say, my friend, <laughs> these gloves saved my bacon today because it was cold. <laughs> Real cold. What do I mean by cold? Cold. Well, it's it never got above 7 degrees Celsius. Here we are, singing around the campfire. One final update. A really funny story. Um, I packed all of my clothes in one of my uh, litter box panniers. And in the corner, I stood up a bottle of fondue fuel to feed my alcohol stove. I figured if I stuffed it in the corner with my clothes, having it stand up straight, there'd be no issues. It wouldn't leak. <laughs> Well, when I unpacked my clothes this evening to get uh, my uh, insulative layer for sleeping, I discovered that the fondue fuel had completely leaked out and was bone dry. It's curious. Uh, my clothes have a very peculiar odor, so they're airing out to dry. And um, <laughs> tomorrow I have no fondue fuel to spark up my alcohol stove to make coffee. So I'm feeling a little bit <laughs> edgy already. Anyway, that's the highlight for the day. I neglected to mention, too, that I still have my twig burner stove here, which is what I'm using as a campfire tonight. But... <clears throat> You know, time is of the essence in the morning. I need an early start and need to make up for today's uh, poor performance. So waiting for the twig burner to do its thing is not uh, first on my list of joyous things. But it is what it is. We uh, play the hand we're dealt. C'est comme ça la vie.